Welcome to this CalGrant Regional Training video. In this short video, we are going to review CalGrant A, B, and C, and the Students with Dependents and Foster Youth Access Awards in more detail. We will begin with an overview of the three different types of CalGrants, CalGrant A, B, and C. CalGrant A awards target lower to middle incomes, have a minimum GPA requirement of 3.0, and provide assistance with tuition and fees for associate or bachelor degree programs that are at least two years in duration. On this slide are the maximum dollar amounts per year at the different institutional segments. CalGrant A awards for students attending a California community college are put on community college reserve for up to two years, and a third year can be requested by students via their student portal. However, now if a student is eligible for the Students with Dependent Children or the Foster Youth Access Award, they may receive the access portion of the award at a community college. CalGrant B awards have a minimum GPA requirement of 2.0 and have lower income and asset requirements than the CalGrant A. This award is for lower income students and provides them with a living allowance called an access award as well as assistance with tuition and fees. This grant operates a little differently because in the first year, the vast majority of students will only receive the $1,648 Access Award portion of the grant, with the award for tuition and fees starting in the second, third, and fourth year. For a CalGrant B, the coursework must be at least one academic year in length, and it may be a certificate or degree program. Students with dependent children and foster youth may be eligible for an increased Access Award with a CalGrant B. The CalGrant B has a new component for qualifying foster youth. AB 1809 expanded eligibility for CalGrant B recipients who are in foster care on or after age 13 in three ways. The first is that it increases the age limit to be considered a high school entitlement applicant from age 23 to 26. Second, it extends the CalGrant application deadline for foster youth attending a California community college from March 2nd to September 2nd. And third, the most significant change is that it expands the lifetime CalGrant eligibility from four years to eight years. If a student is not eligible for a CalGrant A or B, they could still be considered for a CalGrant C if they enroll in an occupational or technical program of at least four months in length. Students still must meet all income and asset requirements and have financial need. Unlike CalGrant A or B, CalGrant C has no GPA submission requirement. Students need to attend a CalGrant eligible institution that offers a recognized program. Once students are deemed financially eligible for a CalGrant C, we ask for additional information via the CalGrant C supplement form because students are ranked for eligibility based on certain factors. Almost all eligible CalGrant C students are awarded. For CalGrant C, Students with dependent children and foster youth may receive an increased Books and Supplies Award. Legislation now allows for CalGrant awarded students with dependent children to receive a significantly larger CalGrant Access Award. Students at California Community Colleges, CSUs, and UC campuses with dependent children under 18 years of age for whom they provide more than 50% support can qualify for this award. The Access Award pays up to $6,000 for qualifying CalGrant A and B recipients and up to $4,000 for eligible CalGrant C recipients. One significant change is that this CalGrant A Access Award is not held in reserve while attending a community college. This means that a qualifying student will actually be paid at a community college and will utilize the corresponding percentage of eligibility based on their enrollment level. Thanks to an additional $20 million in ongoing general funds, a new Access Award for former or current foster youth was created with the goal of enabling more foster students to receive financial aid to attend college. This award is in addition to the Chafee Grant Program, but like with any Cal Grant, awards cannot exceed the student's unmet need. The age requirements include being in foster care on or after age 13, and not being older than 25 years of age at the start of the academic year. Like with the Students with Dependents Award, the Foster Youth Access Award has the same amount of up to $6,000 for CalGrant A and B and up to $4,000 for CalGrant C. It is available for students attending a public California college and is prorated based on enrollment level. 
The Cal Grant A Access Award is payable at a community college and therefore will not be placed on community college reserve. Students who qualify for both the Foster Youth Access Award and the Cal Grant for Students with Dependents are only eligible for the Foster Youth Access Award portion. Thank you for watching this video. High school counselors, administrators, and college financial aid administrators should contact the school support team or the IT service desk at the commission if they need further assistance. If students and parents have questions, they should contact student support.